Hello, I'm Paula Simon, City Columnist with the Edmonton Journal. I'm at the McEwen LRT station. You'll see that this is actually a very beautiful building. The curvilinear lines of the roof, the glass walls, and you'll see that this station is ready for action. The benches have been installed, the landscaping has been installed, the really quite striking public art installations have been installed, the bicycle paths are here and so is the bicycle rack. There's just one thing that's not here, the train. This LRT station was supposed to open in April of 2014, but LRT construction on the Nate line, which runs from here to the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology, has been delayed now by more than 15 months, and no one from the city can say when, or indeed if, this line is ever going to be ready for business. Up until now, the city has put the blame for the delays on the Nate line on the shoulders of Talus Canada, the company which had the contract to create and operate the signaling system for the new LRT line. But this week, my newsroom colleague Elise Stolte broke a story that threw some question on that narrative. Elise obtained a copy of a 2013 inspection report, never before made public, that pointed out severe deficiencies in the way the contractor for the line itself, SNC-Lavalin, put in the communication conduits. I don't want to engage in sour grapes, but I think that taxpayers and would-be commuters have a right to know why this LRT project seems to have run off the rails. I think it's particularly important for Grant McEwen and Nate students who were promised that they would be able to use this train to get to and from classes, and instead, that promise is yet to be fulfilled. Right now, I'm surrounded by a sort of a postmodern still life. But really, the still life is here at the beautiful McEwen LRT station, where everything is ready and waiting for passengers.